Hey y'all, welcome to Wednesday Wisdom. I wanna talk to you about honor and celebrating others. I did a funny short where I was saying how sometimes it hurts and pains the people that are closest to you to just say, good job. It's, that's the saddest, right? Because it should be the closest people to you cheering you on. And I'm lucky enough, blessed enough where I have a couple of good people in my corner that you know I can share my successes with. They are always there to say, I saw your girlfriend, good job. I'm so proud of you and it means the world. But then there are others that, you know, they're just gonna be who they are. They just don't have that congratulations in their spirit. And you've gotta recognize who is truly for you and who is not. And as you climb higher, I've said this before, the snakes will be revealed as you cut the grass. You'll really be able to see who is for you and who is not. But here's the thing, you all. You have to be able to cheer other people on. You've got to have a congratulations spirit. You've got to learn how to, you know, celebrate others if you wanted to be celebrated because your day is coming. And what I find is people who try to begrudge or belittle other people's blessings, there's something lacking in their life because they feel like they have to devalue it instead of just celebrating the accomplishment, right? So, you know, there's a principle of honor. What you honor you can tap into. What you dishonor, you have no portion in. And I want you to remember that before you decide to dismiss others. Have a spirit to receive others. Have a spirit to celebrate others. Have a spirit to want to see others elevate and win because what you want for someone else, God will make happen for you. But you have to learn to cheer other people on and you have to tap into the principle of honor honoring others, not hating, but celebrating. All right, guys, I love you and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.